guys, welcome back to Let's Play More Final Fantasy 7. We almost com have almost completed the dress here, the disguise. Are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute? Right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard. But it'll cost ya. Big Bro, the only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat Big Bro. That's right. Oh, you gotta compete with us. You're right, let's do squats. Alright, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you... The beautiful bro? What? You didn't know? Always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that. Come over here. No, oh, I'll explain the rules. I think it's supposed to be now. <laughs> I'll explain the rules. Uh, switch, cancel, okay. Uh, got it. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. I'm not going to lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. It's not fair for you to start right away, so... You want some practice? Yeah. Start practicing. Uh, um... Okay, I got it. Oops. You have to time it. You get 12 squats. Now let's start. Now let's begin the real thing. Start! He's pretty easy to beat. Especially if you know what to do. Come on. Oh, he had 13 and you had 19. Yeah. You're really something. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. item blonde wig. Big bro, I'm so mad. I'm so, so mad. <laughs> Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Uh, bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. Okay. Big bro, get a hold of yourself. Take care of it. <laughs> Join the club. Try it with us. Mm. Anyways. So, we got the wig now. We can go back. I think that's pretty much everything. Looks like you're all set. Now try it on and let's see how it fits. Aren't you going to change? Okay, I'm ready. Not bad. This may be a new business for me. You're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back, so the dress is on the house. Walk more nicely. Like this, Miss Joshua. What do you mean, nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Joshua. Uh, I want one now. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about this one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. I want... This one. I'm going to go change. No peeking. Hey, how come she's allowed to peek? So, how do I look? <laughs> Let's just go. Oh, you're no fun. You're weird. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna save.
place here. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, this place. Bleep, bleep. bleep. Whoa! Broken. Kind of interesting. So we'll come back to that later. A lot later. I think, unless that was changed in this uh, mod. Guess you can get uh, Tiva's legendary weapon there, Premium Heart. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Hey, ladies. Go oh, and let the Dawn know you're here. Wait here, don't wander around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. Kind of interesting to see if there's anything around here. I wonder where she is. Over this way. Ah! Can't be seen like this. Tifa? Nice to meet you. I'm Eris. Joshua's told me a lot about you. And you are? You're the one with Joshua in the park. Alright, with Joshua. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? But what? No, don't misunderstand. Joshua and I grew up together. Nothing more. <laughs> Poor Joshua having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. Right, Joshua? Oh, dear. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing here? Never mind. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down. Let me answer. I dressed like this because there is no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Eris helped me out. Oh, Eris did. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... Ahem. I'll just plug my ears. Okay. Get the ether. Glad you're okay. Thanks, what happened? When we got back from the Sector 5 reactor, we saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave the lech alone. But something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted the story straight from Corneo's in the mouth. I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then... Well, anyway, I have to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I overheard. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two here, right? No, Eris, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? No, I don't want Tifa in... Is it alright? I grew up in the slums, I'm used to danger. Do you trust me? Yes, thanks, Miss Eris. Call me Eris. Hey. It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. Told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? Guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? You're right, you didn't need to ask. Alright, so I don't get it. Why is there, like, this torture place? Like, I, I get it. It makes sense for, like, a mafia m m mob boss guy to have one, but why would Tifa be waiting here? I don't know. You don't look bad if you don't look closely. I wonder what Bear would say if he could see you. I'm going to get suspicious if we don't hurry. Okay, well, let's go. Don's waiting in his room. Ah, 
Alright, ladies, line up in front of the dawn. Good, splendid. Now, let's see, which girl should I choose? This one? Or this one? <laughs> it's like, don't look at me. <laughs> no, stop looking. Woohoo! Made up my mind. The choice for tonight is. This healthy looking girl. Oh, wait a sec, I mean, uh, uh, please wait a moment. Woohoo! I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! You can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty? Help me! Help! Mm. Oh, finally alone. Alright, pussycat, come to daddy. First, I'll take that. You're so cute. I never get tired of looking at you. You like me too? Uh, let's see what happens if we play along. I sure do know how to make a guy feel good. What do you want to do? Whatever you want, daddy. Oh man, I can't stand it. Alright then. Give me a kiss, a kiss. Uh, I do know that if you go alright and you're about to do it, the two girls bust in and they're like, You were just about to, were you? So no, I'm, I'm gonna say, nope, can't do that. Why? Because... Because I'm gonna need that mouth of yours to give me some information. Ha! Ah, a man! You tricked me! Somebody get in here, now! Unfortunately, no one will be coming to help. These are the ones from before. What the hell's going on? Shut up, we're asking the questions now. What did your assistant find out? Talk if you don't tell us. I'll chop it off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. That's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk if you don't tell us. I'll rip it off. Oh, it was Hedger of Shinra. Heidegger, the head of peace preservation. Hmm. What did you say, uh, the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll smash it. Oh, you're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche, and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush them, literally. By breaking the supports, holding up the plate above them. Break the supports? You know what'll, what's going to happen. The plate will go ping, and everything's going to go bam. I heard their hideout is in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're going to wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Joshua, will you come with me to Sector 7? Yeah, of course, Tifa. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait, it'll only take a second. Why do you think scum like me babble on about the truth? Uh, it's because I'm sure I'll win. Woohoo, right. Ah. If only there's a way to just avoid this, but I don't think there is. Of course there's not. How you answer just changes what he says. How are the preparations going? Yeah, smoothly, very smoothly. I assigned the Turks to this. Mr. President, are we really going ahead with this? What's the problem, Reeves? You want out? No. But there must be another way. We can't just drop the plate. Too many people will die. We 
Most other reports, Reeve, Midgar is becoming unsustainable. In a few years, the Mako below us will run completely dry. I understand that, but we can cut energy consumption in other ways. If we slowly wind back our alliance on Mako, then Midgar can survive. If we drop the plate, Midgar will be able to last a few more years. We'll also exterminate Avalanche and have an excuse to increase rates to tackle the tragedy. Reeve, just flush your personal problems in the morning. The mirrors against us too. Mayor? He just sits in this building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? We'll drop the plate and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation care Sh Shinra Inc. <laughs> this is perfect. Ah! So... Who you talk to first will affect the, the affection later on for the date. So, you alright? Man, it's terrible. You alright? Yeah. Well, the worst is over. No. So, maybe not. Yeah. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. So next time, we're going to fight the boss. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.